everyone and welcome to this devotional series. It's great to have you join us. I had this aha moment recently and I realized that the Lord's intent for us, even in this season, is to be fruitful. Psalm 91 12 says the uncompromisingly righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, be long lived, stately, upright, useful and fruitful. They shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon, majestic, stable, durable, and incorruptible. Planted in the house of the Lord, they shall flourish in the courts of our God. We are not just supposed to survive, but I believe our Father delights in us thriving. His heart is to bless us and keep us and make His face shine upon us and be gracious to us. Right now in this season, the Lord wants to provide for you. He wants you to know His provision beyond what might look possible. He wants to bless you so that you can be a blessing. He promises to lead us in the way we should go. And on the other side of our obedience, on the other side of following his lead, we will see breakthrough. Luke 5 verses 4 to 7. Let me read the story to you. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon Peter, Put out into the deep water and lower your net for a haul. And Simon Peter answered, Master, we toiled all night exhaustingly, and we've caught nothing in our nets. But on the ground of your word, I will lower the nets again. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish. And as their nets were at the point of breaking, they signaled to their partners in the other boats to come and take hold with them. And they came and filled both boats, and they began to sink. Jesus turns to Simon Peter and he tells him to lower his net for a catch. Jesus knew what was coming. I can almost hear him saying, Simon Peter, I know you're tired. I know you've worn out from fishing all night, but follow my lead, see what I will do. Don't give up now. There's so much for you on the other side of your yes to me. And just as Peter lowered his net one more time, we know he caught so many fish that he had to bring in extra boats. I believe there is abundant blessing waiting for each of us as we follow Jesus' lead. You too might be tired and weary from this long season, not knowing what's next. I get that. You might be exhausted from these very real circumstances, trying to work and juggle things amidst this pandemic. But his promise remains that those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. There is joy on the other side of your tears, on the other side of your exhaustion. And so I want to encourage you to sow some faith, put some faith seeds in the ground this week and ask the Lord what he has on his heart for you. Because even in this time, there is a place where he wants us to lower our nets one more time and experience his blessing and provision. So don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. His plans for you remain good and full of fruit. And I believe there's a boatload of fish for each one of us to catch. There's abundant provision for whatever your need might be. God bless and have a great week.